Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video I'm unofficially participating in the YouTube Artist Collective and if you don't know what the YouTube Artist Collective is, they are a group of artists here on YouTube and they all collaborate together every couple of months and they have a theme every month and this month's theme is Masquerade Ball and all of the themes are voted on by their fans and this is on their Facebook page and I'll leave a link to that in the description below and all of the channels I really recommend you go and check them out a lot of them I follow and have really inspired me and inspired me to start with this channel so yeah the theme for this month is Masquerade Ball so I thought I didn't really want to draw a picture because I thought that would be quite detailed and I didn't have time to do a massively detailed piece but I wanted to make something because I quite like decorative masks and then I thought ah I could decorate a mask so what I did is I went to the works which is kind of like a cheapy almost like a dollar store I think but not quite it's not quite as cheap as that but it's quite cheap and they have quite a lot of like crafty stuff and I found a white paper mache plain mask so I decorated that I thought that would be good and I thought it'd be quite different and I also thought I could decorate it with musical stuff because I have a little series going now on this channel where I make art with musical things. I've done painting with oboe reeds and painting with guitar picks and I thought that would be a nice little addition to that and also be a good fit for the theme Masquerade Ball. So I began by painting the mask. I wanted to give it a gold base because I didn't want to leave it white even though that's quite traditional. There are quite a lot of white Venetian masks and then people decorate on top. I have one myself but the white is plaster of Paris. It's not cheap paper mache so yeah I painted it with some Reeves acrylic and I mixed mainly sand and a hint of cadmium yellow deep to make it a nice gold colour and it looks a little bit more orangey on camera than it is in real life it does look less orangey and bright in real life and then once I had painted it I cut out some triangles from some card I measured it out using my wonderfully professional artistic Pocahontas ruler which I'm using all the time now since I found it in my parents attic and yeah, I then cut them out and used a pencil to roll them, kind of making them kind of curved. I don't really know what these bits on the mask are called. I want to say horns, but they're kind of the bits that curl round. But anyway, yeah, I decorated these with some ripped up bits of music and I have a pile of miniature scores that I have in a box that I got from a library when they were throwing them out. And I use these a lot in crafting projects, so I rip quite a lot of it up. And what I used for this was Mozart's Marriage of Figaro Overture, in case you're wondering. And I attached the music to the horns. I'm going to call them horns just because they kind of look horn shape. I attached them to the horns using Mod Podge. This meant that they were dry in the shape that I had created in the curved shape and they did dry quite solid. Although Mod Podge is quite sticky and I did have quite a tough time with it on the first one. And I only filmed the first one because I didn't want to film covering all three because this video was going to be quite long as it was so yeah but the first one was the worst one but once I got used to it it was much better. So Venetian masks are a centuries old tradition of Venice in Italy and these masks are typically worn during the carnival season which still happens today and if you go to Venice there are loads of tourist stands where you can buy these masks all different shapes and sizes and they are made from paper mache or plaster of Paris and they are decorated with all sorts of things such as feathers, gems, swirls, patterns, fabrics and they come in kind of many different shapes. You have the eye masks which are quite popular and the big full ones which is what I'm making and yeah they were used through history in the very early days as devices for hiding the wearer's identity and social status at big social events so people wouldn't know what class you were from or who you were and if you misbehaved people wouldn't know who you were. So I thought I'd have a go at making one of these masks for myself and I used musical items like I said earlier. I've been using ripped up music, so paper mache for the horns and a bit on the face. You'll see I did a heart on one of the eyes and later on I added some music to the lips as well. And I also wanted to use some more modern musical items because quite a lot of these masks do have musical decorations on. The one that I have has musical decorations on it. It has a very similar idea on the horns. But yeah, I wanted to use some more modern items as well. So I had a look in what I could find and I've been collecting musical items for craft projects and I found a couple of vinyl records which I got in a charity shop and this one, the one that I used for this was one from Madonna. I can't remember the title of the song but it was a Madonna one. And I laid the mask on top of it and 
drew around it and I cut out the excess bit and I used the excess bit on the mask later on so I didn't waste it but I couldn't cut out the middle bit because it was too hard and I didn't want to try and wreck it but what I did do was I covered up the label with some more of the music some of the Mod Podge and music just to make it look neater and to fit in with the rest of it and I really like how this record looks I think it looks really really cool and I like how it mixes a bit of tradition with something a little bit new. So here I am decorating the record, it's already cut out because I didn't want to cut it out on camera because I wasn't really sure how it would go and it, yeah it was a bit tricky but yeah here it is cut out and I'm just decorating it now with the music and you might also spot a cassette tape next to it and I used this because I wanted to use something else musical for a start and this is something older, well records are older I guess but they've come back in now but it's quite hard to get hold of cassette tapes these days. This is just a blank cassette tape it was from a charity shop I couldn't find any with actual music on I would have preferred to use some with music on but unfortunately they only had a blank one so never mind so what I did is I unraveled it and I used the tape inside to make a tassel and this was quite fun and yeah I thought it would go quite nicely because the tape color is kind of a shiny bronzy brownie color and that works well with the gold theme and it's also another musical item and it was different to using ribbon although I did use ribbon later on I just wanted to do something a bit different and I thought oh, I can use a cassette tape and I could have used one of my cassette tapes I guess but I want to keep my cassette tapes I don't want to destroy them but yeah unfortunately it doesn't have any music on but it doesn't matter you can't see it anyway so if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Katie and I make art videos I usually upload a new video every Thursday but because I'm unofficially making something for the YouTube artist collective theme I thought I would upload it on a Friday when all those videos are uploaded too so yeah if you're new here please feel free to subscribe and join the community we have going on here it's a nice growing community now and I look forward to meeting you in the comments and yeah do also check out the rest of the YouTube Artist Collective videos I always look forward to these videos coming out every month and they make some really wonderful pieces and I'm so excited to see what everyone makes so definitely go and check those out they also have a couple of guests people every month and they're awesome too I know that Scribble Fix is joining them this month and I'm really excited to see what she makes so yeah definitely go and check them out I really recommend them so to attach the horns and the record and all the other bits and bobs to the mask itself I use my hot glue gun and this is quite tricky because I find hot glue gun quite annoying to work with even though it's quite fun it's also quite irritating because it gets quite stringy as soon as it starts to dry and that string stuff gets everywhere and you have to pick it off all the time and also it dries quite quickly so you've got to be quite quick in applying it and putting it together as you saw at the beginning there I had to have a couple of attempts with the first horn but yeah it, it ended up okay I think it wasn't too bad and it's stuck quite well it all held together quite well I was a bit worried that the Mod Podge wouldn't hold to it but it did it was fine and I stuck to the horns at the end as well with some hot glue gun I used some musical beads I ended up having to put two on each horn because I accidentally put one backwards so I had to put two on one at the back one at the front to make it look like that wasn't a mistake but it really was but never mind don't tell anyone I won't tell anyone if you won't and I also added on to the mask, I added some of the excess vinyl record which I previously cut out from the one that I stuck to the mask and I thought this looked quite cool, I think they kind of look like fancy eyelashes so yeah and I didn't want to waste it and I wanted to add a little bit more black because there's quite a lot of musical notes on the right hand side of the mask so I wanted to balance it out a little bit and I also used two black guitar picks on the lower left hand cheek and I turned these into a butterfly and I thought that was quite cool. I quite like how this turned out because I wanted to use something from a musical instrument. I could have used some of my old oboe reeds but there, I don't have any old ones that aren't caked in paint and the paint is green and I can't wash it off because they're wooden and they have stained it. So that wouldn't have looked too good so I used guitar picks instead. And I also used some ribbon around the top a bit later on. I glued that on with glue gun as well and that was just to kind of neaten up the, the where the mask joins the horns and the um, record and I also used a gold gel pen the same gel pen that I have in white and it's just in gold and it's really really good it, I bought it quite new and I wasn't sure how well it would work on top of the acrylic paint but it works really well and it's really pigmented and really vibrant and really easy to lay down and I did some swirly designs on the top and the bottom just to kind of give the face a little bit more. I didn't want to do too much swirls because definitely where swirls are concerned I often think less is more but they just kind of lift it a little bit and make it look a little bit less plain. 
So here I am attaching the musical beads. This is the violin which I put facing backwards so I went back and added one to the front later on. I have a violin, a French horn, not quite a French horn but it looks very similar to a French horn and a trumpet and these are in gold and these are what I bought a few years ago from like a cheapy shop they're only like 25p for a packet of about 20 and yeah I really like these little beads and I think they look really really quite cute on the end and because a lot of these masks often have bells on the end of these horns so I thought the musical instruments would be quite a nice touch. So to add some finishing touches I decided to add some pearl stickers onto the record and onto the tassel where it where the knot is on the tassel of the tape and also onto one of the wings of the butterfly and I did this because I think it looked a little bit too bare the black and also the pearliness kind of makes it look a little bit more decorative and it matches the shade of the music paper and I used also some glitter glue to outline the heart on the face and the eyes to make them pop out a little bit more and to outline the lips as well and I had to be quite patient with this because it's the 3D glitter glue and it takes quite a while to dry so I had to leave it overnight and I didn't really want to do that but you have no choice otherwise it would have smudged and ruined it and yeah I was a bit shaky with the glitter glue and I think the outline of the heart could have been a little bit better but never mind I think it still looks okay and I really do like how this mask turned out and I like how there is a fusion between old and new music oh and I also added a treble clef on the top of the the face it's kind of from one, another crafting kit I kind of save a lot of crafting kits up and have like a big box full of stuff and it's slightly irritating that it's not in the middle I didn't do a very good job of placing it but because I used a hot glue gun I couldn't remove it it would have ripped up the paint so I had to deal with it and because I've gone for a bit of an asymmetric look with the rest of the mask that's what I'm gonna say happened here so I really enjoyed making this piece and I think I might do a few more things like this in the future here on this channel as well as the regular drawing and painting and stuff like that because I think it's good to get crafty sometimes so if you have any ideas of craft projects you'd like me to do or have a go at do let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear them. So here's the final result and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on Thursday where I'll be back to my original schedule and don't forget if you like this video you know emotionally please leave it a like down below as that really helps me out. So yeah that's it for today's video, bye for now!